Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to hit a space object they can't explain, a very fun but scary idea about the new interstellar object, and a look at how the last grand solar minimum, the Maunder minimum, impacted Japan. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find things were very quiet. Solar flaring is completely absent. Even the plasma filaments remain stable. That big coronal hole will be facing Earth directly tomorrow. Its solar wind will arrive early to middle of next week. The coronal hole is situated squarely on the sun's equator, extending across into both hemispheres. NOAA is expected to begin forecasting its solar wind impact either tomorrow or Sunday. Meanwhile, the sunspot situation is becoming less dangerous. Big northern spots turning away, smaller equatorial spots have not gained enough complexity. The next sunspot watch will likely not be until the next ones turn in. So let's go to a space mystery. They found a long period transient, and it is speeding up its spin. This was something they thought was impossible, so they have a theory that there is actually a binary star that they can't see somehow speeding it up. I'd say first guesses of this kind in astronomy are unlikely to be true, but honestly, it's not like there's any other good guesses out there either. Up next, leave it to Avi Loeb to scare the bejesus out of everyone. The Harvard professor teamed up with two scientists from the UK to break down the rationale for fearing the new interstellar comet is actually an alien spaceship coming to invade. They even have worked out when it would reach the Earth, and it'll be late this fall. Nerds having some fun there. Lastly, folks, excellent paper on the impacts of the Maunder Grand Solar Minimum in Japan. We have previously looked at how it dropped us into the Little Ice Age. It caused million death famines on three continents, and now we see it decimated agriculture in Japan as well, triggering major droughts, a century-long drought, in fact, with minor fluctuations on the 11-year cycle of sunspots. Many speculate another Grand Solar Minimum is coming, but magnetic field data from the sun it's not going to tell us for sure for about another two years. Folks, my new book starts pre-order this weekend. Space Weather, debunking mainstream climate propaganda, proving that it's actually the sun that works the weather, and of course, everything about Earth's disaster cycle. Eyes open for that this weekend. I will be out at the ranch today for the kids' rocket launch and start of the permaculture class. We've got a lot happening at Observer Ranch the rest of the year. Events almost weekly. The next Pole Shift Conference is August 23rd. You may want to make it out for that one. Check out the website to see the full event list for the rest of the year and book your stay, ObserverRanch.com. And folks, for the experience in October, we only have two spots left. It's a psychological, physical, and spiritual readiness event, and you will get tools you'll be able to use throughout the disaster event unfolding. We all need to be harder than a coffin nail for what's coming, and that protocol is coming to the ranch. Special link below for that. The rest is at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.